In 1974, for in-depth draft coverage, there was essentially none. People talk about draft previews. There were no draft previews. It was hard enough to find draft reviews. It was frustrating because there was just a lack of information out there about the NFL draft, which certainly from the time I remember being six, seven, eight years old, I had an interest in because that's the only way you could improve your football team from year to year. Well, in 1974, you don't have the fanaticism about the draft yet. But what you have is this amateur subculture of draft freaks who put out their own lists of draft rankings and that kind of thing. This is how I would start before the season would go. I would break down by positions, name, height, weight, and college, and sometimes I'd put little notes after them, speed or lacking speed or something like that. When I got out of law schools, just started doing that as a hobby. It was fascinating to see how teams drafted players, where mistakes were made. My brother Carl was doing similar stuff. We put it together, and uh, that kind of got people's attention. Pete and Carl Marasco uh, were in Pro Football Weekly. That started bringing the draft to more people. They were sort of Kuiper before Kuiper. Yeah, the Marasco brothers, you go back and uh, scouting players for the NFL, and and gave you something you couldn't get anywhere else, which was an evaluation of players and an opinion on players. Somebody that you looked up to at that particular time and said, boy, they get it. There's going to be misses. There's going to be a lot of good hits. There's going to be some misses. But, but that was the same as the pro teams. Finally, a fellow from the New York Times noticed that he wrote about it. Not only did it enhance the interest of people in the draft, it then spurred other people to say, oh, that's, oh, oh I can do that. His wife, Rhea. There's a guy in Florida, Palmer Hughes. Hughes' thumbnail scouting report feed the appetites of thousands of hungry draft enthusiasts. The tools of his trade are a powerful television antenna, a battered armchair, a much-watched TV set, and a cubbyhole of an office where he compiles his reports. What I try to do is actually pick the draft the way the pro teams do it, but I try to do it on my own and by myself. If somebody said I was a renegade, they would be right. Uh, there was a guy in Cincinnati uh, who put out the drugstore list. Jerry Jones, not the Jerry Jones. It was by a pharmacist, and he was a big-time draft nerd. My earliest years covering the NFL, I would always used to think, man, get a life. And so in the 70s, that built up, and it, it led to Mel Kuyper and created what it is today where Pretty much everybody thinks they're a draft expert.